Night number two. Just chip them down. That's all we can do. Whoa. This is a... Uh, this is a wide boy. And I'm, I'm just going to kill archers. I'm not... I'm not proud. Really wish we had a druid staff over here. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna need Thorndike to help out with the second half of this wave. I think Thorsten did the best job starting out, so I think it, it works out okay. But you I guess we can do Hmm. You are awkward. You are awkward, my friend. So we're 114 with poison, uh, with uh, with slow death. That's a lot. We could we could start getting that going, but I think we just want to chill for a turn. Well, I guess we can maybe we can run over here and get a little bit of work in. Okay. Don't don't know that that was entirely worth all the all the commotion, but I needed I needed crawlers in my life, like I needed a hole in the head, as it were. So let's see. We're doing 90 times 3. Okay, that will that will mostly cripple him without killing him, which is good for business. Do you have like a lot of crit going on? 26% crit with no uh with no assistance is pretty solid. Probably just made it so that now he dies in three, but. Yeah, indeed. Let's see. So how much do they have? Okay, so they're definitely. That will that will do some damage to them without without killing them. To, we need to back. This guy is going to take another turn, so we can we can chill on him just a little bit. But I guess finding targets is a little tough right now. Now is this guy dead? I think so. Unfortunate.
Now you're doing 81, so that's a safe. That's a safe attack. All right. Is crit a good build for momentum, or does the momentum thrive on its own? I mean, I think adding crit to a momentum build is never a bad idea. It can be hard to find the the stats to do all of the things that you want. I guess is what I would say. So like, I don't think I don't think of crit as being like extremely important. This side is getting awful. So I think the runners are just so awkwardly shaped. I think what we have to do is we have to kind of come over here. And just start removing some runners from the equation. walk over to here. This guy's getting around. There's like... Okay, and I can't get to the archers yet. So that's unfortunate. So we could... Alright, let's 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 start proceeding like we're gonna fall behind here. Because it, it's feeling like a pretty good... A pretty likely... Uh, pretty likely outcome. So let's remove a few baddies from the uh, from the equation because I think we're gonna fall behind. snare. We can't really get the snare of my dreams, so I think we'll hold off. Hey, thanks, Alex. But I feel like I should be focusing on one. Because it's so tempting with pistols uh, come with an innate crit. The snare of my dreams. I did say that. I, I mean, I think that like, it, a little incidental, never hurt anybody, I guess, is the, the short version. So what's going on here? I think I need to take out some of these some of these guys so I can see. I want to be able to get to this guy to to hit him with, with one of those. And then also, the archer doesn't need to survive. It's not, it's not important here. But yeah, I, I just think, like, there's no... There's no competition between momentum and crit, but I generally think that getting your base damage up is probably the better way to scale than than taking the damage from other things. These waves are just so spread out. That's the that's the feel that I am feeling at the moment here. That's, that's the effect that runners have that I think we we didn't have to deal with in our last run. But that makes a very notable difference. So this would definitely kill a few. I think I'm okay with that, though. There we go. They'll, they'll die a slow and, and painful death and everything will be fine. But the, the waves were so tight-knit on the on the last run that we did that Abigail set up. That was uh that was a noteworthy difference. Okay, we'll get to there and then you I think it's on the nightmare run. Yeah, we I mean everybody just moved the same speed, which was really convenient. We did also run ballistas, so I'm I'm also feeling the pain of that.
He's just dead if we hit him with that. He's also head if we dead if we hit him with this. Eh, he doesn't he doesn't make it in, so let's let's chill. We're gonna need to take these two out next turn, but You'd have to ask them that. I think uh, that is that is a question I cannot answer. Okay, we'll let that guy come in. But I think good people can have evil... Uh, Evil aspirations is perhaps the more likely explanation. But ironically, in the end, I think I think the general consensus was that uh, more evil would have probably been uh, been good for business on that run. Right now, I'm just kind of operating under the assumption that we're going to need... We're going to need all the help that we can get, as I don't think this this night is looking like it's going to go uh, quietly into that sweet night type of thing. So we got three AP left here, but a little lacking on movement. We could. I think we're okay. I think we're okay to just to just chill on that one. Let's uh, if we do this, this guy dies. This gets passed back, but this guy will still move. I think one tile, so we'll still get the kill on him. Yep, nice. So we still get the kill in the inside our our four walls. How am I gonna? How am I gonna deal with these claws? That's the question. Kind of feeling like one of these won't. Two of these does it, so maybe we do that. No, two of those does not do it. Womp womp. We got we got there though, so. Boil him, mash him, put him in a stew. <laughs> Let's see. We can we can slow death to kill you. How about you? You're one off from from dying to slow death. Do I need to hit him? Probably not. So what we do is we probably just take these guy, these this guy out, and then free hit you, and then you're unfortunately not debuffed, so that's unlikely to kill. Cool. We do have stuff coming in now. We're gonna take some wall chomps, unfortunately. Unless I come around. What do I do if I come around? Not much. I don't I don't think coming around is that terribly useful. <sighs> Let's see. So we probably just take some steps forward and just poke at some fast boys. Don't have a great answer for that, I think. Hmm. 
We could do we could do a little bit of like poison passing if we wanted to. So if we do this, hit you with that, and then do that, this will pass to here and we'll get a double a double hit on this guy. Oh, they both die, so it doesn't work. Actually, I want to see how this works. So hypothetically, I guess they die at the same time, so the contagion is lost. But let's let's watch it anyways. Yeah, that was silly. That didn't work out at all the way I wanted it to. 164 to go. My walls are getting chewed on. Which is my least favorite. That was probably a waste of AP. We probably had better things we could have done there. Yeah, we fell we fell behind hard here actually. That's that's a little worrisome. But I think that's going to be a theme <laughs> broadly here. I think the falling behind was not limited to that side. Let's see, so we will do this. Hit you with one of those. We need to just put the brakes on these guys, unfortunately. There we go. That'll that'll slow down that part of the wave, and then hold on. You have another contagion, right? This side, this side's gonna take some abuse, though. I don't think there's any, any way around that. Two, taking two archer hits is not probably the smartest thing. Well, if we run around to here, let's hop in. That's probably our best bet. This one's gonna get a little dicey, I think. Glad I have walls. I think that's the that's the primary feeling. The archers are just they're late to the party and they're they're being jerks is is the short version I think of things. Let's see, so I think I'm gonna contaminate you and contaminate you and try and do like a two and a two. And I guess I'll, if I, if I take one step forward, I could do like a two and a two and a one. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but. So at least get you out. For a second there, I was like, did that just poison me? Septic shock. 
forgot I had you. <laughs> slow, slow some folks down just because I think we're, we're, we're on the struggle bus slightly. side two probably better than than taking unnecessary damage yeah we we knew we were gonna be we knew we were gonna be working with with some things so let's see you got 96 contagion so I think what we I think or excuse me 96 poison so I think what we do is we we double that up and then we ice these two yes Really should have focused the archer on that one. There was no need to to go in that order. Now you this side is just a an absolute disaster area. Um, I don't I don't know what else to call it. are already pretty handled maybe i do these guys these guys probably aren't gonna be able to walk around their friends if i do that so i'll do that and then let's see if we can just zap that dude this is messy though for sure and it is mainly messy because we just don't have enough ways to to spread our poison yet I think I think it's more poison struggles in the early game is the uh, is is the takeaway that I am I am learning not for the first time. Poison is just it blooms late in the game, but we're 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 hanging in there. This side's gonna be done this turn, and we picked up walls omens so we can basically do this all day like it's gonna be a long time before things are gonna start breaking our uh, breaking our walls down let's just I think the plan is just to do something like that no oh, we only need one on that guy oh, no, we need two okay This blocker is annoyingly placed. There we go. We can we can use that to spread some poison around the corner with our uh, with our other hero, because now we have the now we have the contagion pop, which is great. Because we have septic shock. Now you you're blocked from coming out, which is a bit unfortunate. My my priorities go as follows. Hmm. 
if I move to here, the blockers are so awkward. Okay, so I think we I think we run around to here to get around the blockers. We're gonna need to use a run to get out again, but that's that's just life. Wow, that went way faster than I expected it to. Um Oh, the blockers. Oh, I, I didn't realize I'm on like a perfect blocker thing here. That's actually hilarious. This guy only has two movement, so I guess we can stop him. But that was that was not great. The walls are a holden. And I think we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna have you run around. You're gonna try and do this in... Oh, you can't see very well. Too bad you can't do the same in Heroes. Have a blocker to stop shooters. Oh, that would be, that is such a cool idea in Lustrous. That is actually a really cool idea. We spent more of my turn over here than I wanted to doing stuff. Out of contaminates now? No, we're technically not. If I do a run, we go up to three movement, which means I can jump out, but I can't jump back in again. All right, so I can't really do that then. I wanted to get this guy contaminated, but I think it's just, uh, it's just not in the cards. Oh, we can't, we can't get back in with this hero if I don't do that. All right, well, so much for that plan. Yeah, being able to manipulate line of sight of enemies would be extremely fun. So right now, the best thing we can do, I think, is... Oh, these blockers are freaking killing me here. I have so many great propagates and I can't... I can't utilize them. I wanted to kill this guy, but I, I couldn't. I don't think I should. It was worth the risk to uh, to do it that way. Oh, bummer. Uh, actually, I guess if we do if we do slow poison and then we use our bonus action from our offhand, that's not bad. Okay. Okay, we're, we're not out of the woods yet. still have contaminates on you yeah we still have our full host of contaminates so like let's if i run to like here we can do that yes All 
All right, I feel like that went super well. I mean, not the night. The night was kind of a uh, kind of a dumpster fire, but we didn't lose any walls, which is good. Bane. The blockers can be the bane of high range heroes uh, existence. Thorsten, you really didn't get the second level up, my friend? I actually realized we're probably going to have to rethink our our base structure to make space for a uh, for an inn, if nothing else. Yeah, I think I was overly aggressive with the the shape of the with the shape of things. Should have planned things out more completely. I think I'm going to use this before we before we potentially lose it to trying to do things. Let's see. We got None of these look very good. A question. How goes it? Do we take septic shock on you? No. Take some crit. Take some damage. We want some block on some of our other heroes, but... I think Sadist is an easy grab, and we will take First Blood. Okay, Thorndike, our bee's friend, who instantly does have Septic Shock, which means I think we take the Stun Chance. Are you the one who... No, you leveled up fully, so let's... Oh my gosh. Okay. Take the accuracy and take some resistance reduction. We get two, so I guess it's it's Toxic Leech and it's Blood Mage. Scary thought. And then we have Thornston, who only got one level up. I guess it's Toxic Leech here too. What's your what's your XP gain at? 127 as opposed to 140, 160. Yeah, you're still behind. If we want you to level up, we probably need to take that XP gain. As much as I want to take the poison. All right, so let's see what our repair bill is first of all. 94 is not bad. But I do think we're doing a bit of demolition. Can I just put an in here? No. If I if I demolish this and demolish this, we can tuck an in here though. Which I think we we do need to do that. Well, we'll come back to this. But I think we need our fourth hero. Ben is at least a level six. He has he has poisonous. He has the poison tree, which is pretty good, and he's level six. So I think we just have to. We can't we can't afford to be too choosy. We just we need uh we need arm we need people who are armed. Probably should have looked. Wildling tough and unhealthy. Yeah, they're fine. You saw you get, you get the toxic blood mage. You walked him into the horde. We're we're gonna do that again for sure. So what's our what's our plan here? We we can do this again. <laughs> Madness is 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 doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So let's do it right. Okay. 
We don't we only have daggers for physical weapons. I don't think that plays super well with what we're trying to do. Yikes. Not the greatest stuff on the top tier there. Hmm. We've gotten really bad shorter weapons rolls as well. Yeah, agreed, Abigail. It's a little it's a little rough. Quantity versus quality doesn't sound like very much fun to me. I think it's gonna be flexibility and Maybe go back for coagulation. If we're going for a defensive hero, I guess that's reasonable. Not not in love with that, but... Let's see. You do have septic shock, so we could take some stun. That's fine. Big old reliability. I don't, uh, do I take more stun? Sure. Uh, yes, the only mod we're running is the, the mod that makes it so the omens that we took, Omen of Many Daggers, Hand Crossbows, Druid Staffs, and Magic Orbs, limits our selection. That's the, uh, that's the only mod at the moment. So, so the problem is, is B still scales up, in my experience, Abigail. So it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't quite work. All right, Ben's gonna be our stunner, I guess. Do we need more accuracy? I think we, I think we get it later. We'll take some block. Take an AP. I'm annoyed that it got paired with block there. I want our damage to be a little higher. All right. Ben may die a terrible death. And then we don't have I think I'm going to I think I'm going to expand over here too. This is extremely inefficient, but let's get another gold mine down and then let's also get our second mana well back up. Oh, you can destroy and rebuild a mana well and get back the, the benediction. That's an interesting thing I didn't know before. So technically, if you want to spend a bunch of money, you have you have options there. That's interesting. I think cheap, higher level... Oh, that's a nice dagger. But, like, we need shields for our for our people that we're going to be wading into the pain. Those are some nice pants, though, as well. But, yeah, I think cheap, higher level gear is is what's on the menu right now. I don't think we have the ability to invest in anything too terribly... Uh, crazy so ben you are at 21 block thorsten you're at zero block so let's get you let's get you some block give you a better druid staff our new friend is going to take a druid staff yeah five percent web five percent reduction doesn't uh doesn't outweigh I think this dagger is hard to recommend here, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna slap that other druid staff there. And if anyone was going for, maybe we do that for someone who's gonna be at least like in the mix. You are you you picked up a multi hit right? Yeah, so you're you're gonna be you're gonna be DMH. What I'm hearing is that you're a big fan of Toxic Leech for Sustain, walking all of them to their death and replacing them with someone better. That may be what we're doing here. That That is distinctly not out of the question as to what is going to happen.
Now, here's the problem that we have just created for ourselves. We can no longer jump out if the enemies have kind of like walled us in. Might be an argument for making some gates. The problem is, is our walls are so much more durable, right? What, is, what does a gate have? Wait, gate has 480? Okay, yeah, maybe that is the play. I didn't realize that gates got that much better, but those gates are pretty good. So let's... Let's give ourselves some, some spots to hide behind where we can actually walk out. Because I think otherwise we're going to have a very bad time. And this one is kind of awkward, but we'll put the last gate here as our retreat point. Oh yeah, we're we're rewriting the tier list, that's for sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is places where... I'm going to put down barricades in places where I, I recognize that a rogue element could could pass over the wall and put us in a bad place. So we'll put those there. All right, at least we have four people. This this is a this is a night where we're going to have to deal with uh with what? The the dark boss. So put you over here. Put you over here. I'll put you over here, actually. We'll put you here and you here. Okay. I don't think so. I, I think we'll be okay on this night. We uh we are gonna have to deal with poison immunity on the light side boss, which is gonna be a little bit uh unfortunate, but 